Welcome to Good Thing, Bad Thing. I am Jabby Kuei. And I'm your boy, Sintel. Let's get straight to it. My good thing is the 2015 MacBook and Apple in general. Apple in general. Mm -hmm. That's your good thing. That's my good thing. Here we go. Jesus Christ. Please. Okay, you need to go ahead and give me something. Go ahead. I I got a script for you guys. I need something. I'm going to perform for you guys a little bit. Fanboy. Number one. The interface just gets better and better. I mean, let's take the keyboard, for example, right, on your phones. Mm -hmm. It's an incredibly fun challenge and true test of patience when keys don't work. You hit the space bar and it keeps registering as letters or vice versa. Only wusses lose their patience and get mad about that and blow up with profanity. Real men welcome that shit Chuck Norris style and accept that challenge. (laughs) Number two, not being able to reshape the keyboard size on the largest phone humbles you and gets your fingers stretching to avoid hand obesity. Crashing apps and unresponsive buttons teaches you patience and the insane button arrangement of the landscape keyboard on the 6 Plus works your brain to keep it on its toes. You know? <laughs> All right, I'm with you. Keep Number going. three, let's talk about the layout design. All right. The interface ushered in with iOS 7 makes hunting for apps an adventure. It was too easy with iOS 6 when you could see them all at once if you clicked on a folder. Now when you click on a folder and you don't find the desired app right away, Apple is again putting your brain to work in a way that would never happen otherwise. <laughs> you get to swipe through countless pages of folders and then silently rejoice when you finally locate Talking Carl. Number four, and on the topic of color design, the new flatter, lower contrast looks of apps forces me to really look at my phone to figure out which app I want to click on before it was passive and I could easily spot what I wanted. But nothing should be passive. Every moment must be lived thoughtfully. It's like Lady Tron says, anything that may delay you might just save you. Fittingly with our current topic, that's from a song called Destroy Everything You Touch. Damn. (laughs) Number five, and don't let me forget to mention the prices. They are not unreasonable. No, no. You need to ignore the fact you can buy a 256 gigabyte micro SD card for $100. Having a micro SD expansion in the phone is not the answer. Stop suggesting it. (laughs) Monks are only allowed eight possessions. And for $1,000, you can have 128 gigabytes in your iPhone 6 Plus. It's a lot more than eight. And you... Learn to really work with that space. Again, these are challenges that real men welcome, not bitch about. And that's just the phones. The GUI designs, the GUI designs. You know what GUI is, right? Yes, yeah, okay. graphic user interface. The GUI design of their computers gets better with each iteration. The sidebar in your uh, finder window no longer has color. And all the user folders look the same, which any reasonable person might say, that's so fucking unbelievably stupid. And I couldn't fault you, Marjorie. But this was deliberate to make you look and stare aimlessly until you happen upon what you want. Again, this all goes back to appreciation. And for a long time, I desired a Retina Display MacBook Air. I just wanted a writing machine with a Retina Display. That's all. Fine, they say. But we're taking away all the ports, gimping the processor, and forcing (laughs) you to relearn how to use the keyboard. And I appreciate this. (laughs) (laughs) Lastly... Gotta leave these retina displays covered in ultra-reflective glass. It's perfect for the paranoid guy like me who thinks someone's always watching him, <laughs> looking over his shoulder. I always want to know what's behind me. Thank you, Apple. I think somewhere in a grave in, in, <laughs> by, by, the, by the Apple Don't spaceship. Don't you agree? Don't you agree with all somewhere of those Somewhere in things? a grave in an Apple spaceship, Steve Jobs is turning over in his black little turtleneck <laughs> dragging his cold bones out of there mm-hmm. and he's going to go choke out the CEO because he has absolutely fucked Mac products <laughs> up. That right there is a work of brilliance because yeah, you're right. What is going on with our Apple products? <laughs> Damn, man. What happened to the simplicity of having like the cool new hot chick in school? That was what having a Mac product is. Right. Now it's just like she's... Now you can buy an iwa- uh, a- Apple Watch. Are you getting the iWatch? And nobody knows what it does. It's just the thing. Oh, you can, you can send your heartbeat to somebody. Isn't that neat? You can send your heartbeat to somebody. <laughs> so you're, so you're <laughs> saying so you're I, not going to get it. Sintel, S- Sintel, get an Apple Watch so I can send you my heartbeat. My heart beats for you. <laughs> And only you. Oh, you can do like little doodles and stuff. It doesn't do. That's, it doesn't do anything else really specifically. Oh, that's and it, it tracks. It monitors your progress. Even though you can get a Fitbit. Fuck a Fitbit. I want to spend ten thousand dollars on a gold version of my Apple Watch. That's what I want to do. Take my money, Apple. <laughs> Give me the gold. Twenty. What is it? Twenty-four karat gold yep. version. The thing, and I'm not even certain that you mm-hmm. can change out those bands. 
And Faye was making. But I thought that was like the whole thing that you could get the whole. Re- you can make you it can like buy a sports different, watch. No, you can or buy you the can sports watch for $350. Or you can buy the slightly more premium one for $500, which has a, a str- stronger glass on it. So it does. it's more scratch resistant. Oh, the hustle more is strong with Apple. Break resistant. And she was like, Faye was asking me, is there any difference between the performance of each watch? I'm like, nope. It's just the the strength and integrity of the physical watch. Well, here's an idea. How about you just make it the strongest it's supposed to be in the beginning? Be, you know, because not everyone can afford a ten thousand dollar watch. How much does this damn thing cost for real? I'm serious. There's a ten thousand dollar version. It's 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 like twenty four karat gold or something. Are you fucking with me? I'm not fucking with you. That there's a real version out there. If you look it up, there's a real version out there. There's the, th- the cheap end is three hundred fifty bucks, and I'm and it's it's like why would I buy that? If it's gonna break, and why is that called the sports one if the one above it is more strong? <laughs> like I don't I understand why that's the sports one, fuckhead. <laughs> I'm not gonna work out with something that's gonna break on me. I don't get it. Why? I mean, okay, aren't, these are all aren't, good things. But our watch is <laughs> kind of like halfway starting to be played out. Like you don't even wear a watch. I haven't worn a watch since I was like 12 years old. It's too much effort to pull out my phone. I just want to click on the thing to call people now. <laughs> it's too much. You should get like one of those like Flintstone sundial watches. We should go. Kinda... We should do what Looper's got and, 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 and have the phone in my hand. Oh. Yeah, there you go. But you know what's crazy is as much as you were bitching and complaining about these Apple products, you know. I'm going to buy it anyway. You know, you go I'm going to buy an Apple one. watch. <laughs> oh, fuck it, man. I'm going to buy an Apple watch. Because we drank the Kool-Aid. Yeah. It's tasty. Yeah, I can't lie, man. I feel ashamed of my Apple products now. I feel like I'm in a bad relationship, I, and I, can't I just can't it. and I can't quit her. I, the, the old, I, just, like, I can't I'm stuck quit in the economy. Her. That's what it is. It's like I can't even buy a PC machine. I have built a Hackintosh <laughs> with PC parts. It's like even on that, I am putting in Apple ness. Okay, the, but like the phones they still have it all the way shitted on us completely. So the phones are still kind of dope. Pieces of shit, dude. I'm like texting and but you've got the that autocorrect old one, man. The six, man, the six is dope. The autocorrect doesn't work right. It's like I type in words, and it, you know what? Fucking autocorrect needs to learn bad words. God damn it! I'm tired of saying you ducking asshole. To what people. is up with the ducking? Like <laughs> they should make a shirt like that that says "fuck the ducking." Or something. You no. ducking piece of shoot. Duck- <laughs> <laughs> Every single Why? time, ducking. These are good things, man. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to like learn your your language no, and okay, grow okay, with okay, you. Okay, but in all seriousness, like, have you seen the new MacBook? No, here's real pretty though. It is pretty. It, it, it it's just frustrating because what they're trying to do is go. This is a brand new machine, and it's like it kind of is. There was rumors for a long time that there was going to be a 12 inch iPad. They were going to call it the iPad Pro. That's retarded. Well, whatever is to compete with the Surface Pro or whatever. And just so, get a damn Mac. Oh, because of the Surface. Okay. The Surface screen. is a pretty ingenious little right. device. But the thing about it is it's Apple is shooting themselves in the foot, kind of, if because they didn't make it a touch screen. It's like, why didn't you just make it an iPad with a key? Like, why didn't you make it a touch screen? Oh, you're talking about the MacBook, the new MacBook. The, the new MacBook. Like, why? And the name fucking kills me. What's it called? It's just, it's called the MacBook. It's like, how can we reinvent this? We can't call it MacBook Air again. It's got to be a new item. What if we just take out the air word? Now so they're not going to make any more airs? I don't know what they're doing. It's confusing. Like, what the fuck is an air now? An air is a more powerful MacBook. That's what's happened. What I think they're doing, this is a conspiracy theory part of me. What I think they're doing is they're deliberately gimping the MacBook so they can delineate, a, 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 have a finer delineation between MacBooks and MacBook Pros. That's why. Because the MacBook Air is actually a relatively powerful machine for what it is. You can get 8 gigabytes of RAM in there. You can get a powerful dual-core i7 processor in there. You can get up to like a terabyte, I think, of hard, hard drive. Mm-hmm. In this new one, you can only get 512 gigabytes. Um, you can only get 8 gigabytes of RAM. And the processor is... It's a GIMP processor. It's 1.3 dual core gigahertz. That's on the high end. But you know what? I think they're just trying to market it more towards the casual user because most people don't need that type of processing power. Like I have a MacBook Pro and I rarely, rarely max out the processing power that it has. Yeah, you say that until you have to update Flash and then suddenly the shit doesn't work right. It's too slow. <laughs> By the way, Flash, stop fucking sending me update notices every five minutes. Yeah, that every, is true. Like every day, oh, your Flash is out of date. Really? Really? <laughs> When are they releasing the new Pro? Uh, April 10th, I think. And it's April 10th or April 24th, one of those two dates. It's, it's basically timed so that when you get your tax refund, you can spend it on an Apple product. <laughs> oh, those geniuses. Man. 
<sighs> anyway, I... I still buy Apple stuff. So in, <laughs> I was really strongly considering buying a MacBook. But it's like, it's, that, that processor just kills me. Because I know what's going to happen. I'm going to open up like three tabs on my Safari. And then it's going to slow down. And it's going to crash. And it's, it's just going to be so devastatingly painful. Oh, by the way, it's only one port on the new MacBook. Why? One port for all your needs. One magic port. USB-C. It's the new port, baby, for charging. No longer do you have the accidental port thing, you know, mm. the accident protection port, yeah, yeah. where someone kicks your cord and your laptop doesn't go flying off your fucking desk. Yeah, yeah. Now it's back to the thing that tugs on the MacBook. If someone kicks your cord, your laptop's going. <laughs> it's, it's going. <laughs> that sucks. It sucks. And it's like you have to buy all so these adapters does, is now. It, is it physically different, the, the yeah, port for the to, USB? You plug it in. It's like so, right, like, okay, so my old, my old flash drives, will it work on the new one? If you get an adapter. Are you kidding me? An $80 adapter. Oh, fuck off, Mac. No. Please, take my money, Mac. No. Adapter. That's ridiculous. I know. That's why. Well, it looks like old Bessie's going to have to last me a couple <laughs> more years. There's that's no why, way. That's There's why. No way. That's why I was, because I, I wanted a new writing machine, and I, I'm like, I'm opting to buy a MacBook Pro 13-inch, because... The MacBook Pro 13 inch is no, there's nothing pro about it. It doesn't even have a, a discrete graphics card in it. It's just the processor. You're using the processor's graph, onboard graphics. It's well, you need that type of computing processing power if you're just writing, anyways. That's exactly my point. Don't call it a MacBook Pro. It's just a MacBook. They should call it the Pimp Book. <laughs> Why? Because it's pimping all your money, dog. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's just like every time you open it up, it's like you set me up. It's for like that shit. it's like give me my money. It's like damn. They just need a cre- <laughs> you know they need a credit card swipe thing built into the laptop so you can just swipe your fucking card. You should have a hand. As soon as you opened it up, it just smacks they you. Kind of, they they kind of did that. The phone is a credit card now. You yeah, just I've use your thumbprint. That. Buy Apple stuff faster. Golly. Okay. So anyway, the Mac, the new MacBook. In all seriousness, it does look pretty, and it is kind of innovative because. They made it, I, I wish they would just stop making shit thinner. They keep making it thinner and thinner and thinner. I'm like, I can't see the damn thing. That's yeah. not a good thing. Soon you're gonna have like, <laughs> you're gonna have like a like a notebook filled yeah. with computers that you could just thumb through. <laughs> you can pick which computer you want to because there's gonna be like paper thin. And be like, here, here's my anyway. Mac. No, okay. Yeah, I get it, man. But I'm just like so. I'm done. Sick of it. But <laughs> they need to stop making these things thinner. Just make it. Make the battery life last longer. The battery life on the new MacBook is nine hours. I'm like, um, the last one that you put out had 12. The 13-inch MacBook Air has 12 hours. Why would I go and buy a MacBook that has nine hours? Because they want you to not be able to buy a replaceable battery and buy their Apple-bound brand battery when you get sick of how quickly that battery dies out. And it will die out fast because they don't give a damn about you. And stop calling it all day, fuckers. It's not all day. It's, it's, It's nine hours. As last I checked, doesn't cover all day. Okay, but aren't aren't these like the the new drives the the where they don't where they don't have any more moving parts in yeah, it? Yeah, solid state. Yeah, the solid state drives. So if there's less moving parts, how is it burning more energy? It's not burning more energy. It's the it's the battery capacity inside. Basically, the logic board is like the size of an. I literally I think they took the iPhone logic board and they stuck it inside a laptop because the logic board is really small. It's like if this is your laptop here, right? Mm-hmm. This is your laptop. The logic board is like this. It's 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 really small. It's it's like right here. The logic board is really small. It's like it's like this big. Whereas on this laptop it's much bigger. It takes up more more of the laptop, right? Mm. So most of your laptop is just battery. And it's like, see, we thought of you guys. You've been listen, we've been listening to you. We want, we put in more battery to last not as long. All right. Oh, we, we we spoke on that for a long time. Oh, it's my turn with the good thing, right? The good thing, yeah. It's always late at night. And I'm seeing all of these, like that commercial with the with the puppies, and they're all like looking at you with doe eyes, and one of them's kind of like all shot out and drug up and stuff, and they're like, all you got to do is send five dollars, and you can save mittens. And I'm starting to get to this point, and maybe it's just because I live in Los Angeles, and people are just ridiculous with this animal stuff. I'm starting to say, fuck animals. Okay. All right, fuck them because. People walk around dressing their little dogs up like humans. Fuck them because they would rather die from some rare cancer than to shoot up a monkey for a week and see if it affects them. Fuck them because they would rather eat poisonous, toxic food than to feed it to a rabbit and see if it dies. 
Fuck them because they love, they value the life of these animals. They'll walk over and save a kitten hobbling around on three legs and step over six homeless kids to do it. Right. So I'm getting angry at animals and I used to be an animal lover. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> these animals, dog. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> All right, I'm off my soapbox. Um, animal abuse is a good thing. Oh my God. <laughs> Faye just, you couldn't hear her, but Faye just said, oh my God. They're not getting mad because of that. They're getting mad because they're spending all that money on these experiments that they keep doing over and over and again that don't work. But would you rather experiment on an animal that doesn't work or experiment on a human and it doesn't work? How about some inmates? That's even more fucked up. No, yeah, I actually, okay. I'm going to have to like pull in some of the camera audio. Oh for my God. She so said let's just spend it on inmates? I, I actually agree with her on that. I think that it should be inmates instead of animals. What? Because it shouldn't be testing on human beings. Period. It cuts That's the part I'm talking about. It cuts you'd rather you'd rather save some some rabbit. Hold on. Than hold a on. human being. Hold on. Let's let's put this in perspective. Yeah, rabbits aren't. Hold on. Let's put this in perspective for a second. Please. Okay. Because everything is about human trials. Right. right? You were talking about taking a guy who has molested 27 children and now he's behind bars for life we're talking about a guy who murdered his wife and his kids we're talking about a guy who got wasted and drove into a car with a family in it and they burned alive but you realize the majority of people that are in prison are not for violent crimes they're mostly for drug offenses okay let's negate that then let's not use those people we're talking about murderers we're talking about people who who are on death row i'm talking about those people they, I don't see why we don't experiment on them. I don't see why they, we clean the fucking needle before we put the lethal injection in them. Okay, now I agree with that. <laughs> like, I agree with that. That's, that's ridiculous. Yeah. But, but for you're talking about experimenting on human beings when there's the same animals that you just got done eating from Burger King and McDonald's. You just got done eating them. Are the people who are saying don't experiment on animals aren't eating burgers. Some I are. eat burgers. Okay. She eats burgers. I'm just saying they're animals. They're not people. So the tests usually aren't accurate because they're not human. You realize the reason why we even have the life expectancy that we have right now is largely due to animal trials. You under you you guys understand that, right? You get that. That without the sacrifice of monkeys and mice and rabbits and all these things that you deem what cute, you, wait, you wouldn't come, even come be no, here. No, come up here. No, I come up here. Crap. No. Come up here. No. no one cares. Everyone likes you. Come up here. Come up here. We all love you. Come up here. here. I want you to be our our first guest speaker. Please defend this. Because if it wasn't for this animal testing, your life expectancy would be like 33. It's not completely wrong, but if the same scientist is testing the same thing over and over and over again, and they're getting all that money, and it's not fucking working, give it to somebody else. Try something else. You still have to test it on. Yeah, I know. Why would you ever test it on a human being? You have to at the end. Oh, at the very end, once yeah. you've killed enough dogs, rabbits. It'd be a lot faster. You'd get your cure faster. No, you would yeah. kill a lot more human beings faster. Or how about the people that are already sick and there's no cure? They would volunteer themselves. Who the hell is going to volunteer themselves for death duty? If you're already dying of AIDS or cancer. You realize that the, the life expectancy for AIDS patients is, 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 is increasing rapidly. And... And the amount of people. I, I, okay, I, I, re- I redact the AIDS. I redact the AIDS thing. Sorry. So cancer. It's still, it's still a human being. You're still, you would still rather test it on something that is a part of your species than something that you would eat already. Yeah. You know how you know how quickly mice replicate. I mean, they. It's 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 insane. It's a fucking mouse. It's not a person. Okay, so... That's my point! It's a Yeah, mouse. it's not gonna fucking work all the time. No, see, you know what it is? This is my <laughs> issue with, 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 with this. It's because certain animals are cute, so they have, like, this weird attachment to it. Like, if we were doing animal testing on warthogs, nobody would give a shit. And when I say mice, you're like, oh, it's a mouse, nobody gives a shit. But when I say bunnies, then all of a sudden it's, oh! I can't believe you're gonna experiment on the bunnies and on dogs. Oh, dogs is definitely the key word. Or, or on monkeys, then all of a sudden it's like this, this venomous thing. But it, so, so how about we just test, how about we just change the animals? We should just test on warthogs. Um, how about snakes? Nobody likes snakes. I we love need a snakes. list of animals that nobody gives a shit about. That way we can at least get the same results. But you do, but you do realize that we have to do this in order. Yeah, but would you test like pump? poison into a dog knowing that it's going to fucking die like what's the point of those studies and you're spending all that money on those studies when you could fund other studies that would work if i knew 
that if if I had to fill a thousand dogs with the worst type of gonorrhea STD, they'll die in the next 10 hours to save my son so that he can live eight hours more, I would. And I would pull the needle syringe myself. Really? Absolutely. Wow. I don't know. I guess I just don't like people that much. This is what it is. (laughs) Human beings have this thing of not understanding where they were on the food chain just a couple thousand years ago. We sit on this perch. We stand on the shoulders of giants of Cro-Magnon men and other people who have fought their way to the top of the food chain. And now that we're here, we've forgotten what it took for us to get here. I can guarantee you all of you animals, super animal lovers, will be singing a totally different song if you lived out in there in the woods with nothing but a spear and you had a pack of wolves tracking you down every single day. Your love of going over, of, of save little Billy the Billy Goat would change dramatically if that was the only way that you were going to I'm eat. I'm not saying those, but like there's so many studies that are... She's saying there's redundant studies. There's redundant studies. There are studies that are done over and over again. They know the effect. They, they know the outcome, but yet they do it anyway. Those studies are pointless kills of m- multiple animals. That's what she's doing. It's a waste about. of our money. I mean, and it's, why test a freaking sheep to see if you could cure its gainers? Like, seriously? Like, why would you spend all that that's money? That's because you, it's better to risk the lives of those animals, a thousand animals, if it means saving one human life. So you're going to fix gay people by killing animals? Oh, oh, she set you up. How do you fix gay people by <laughs> they're killing They're testing animals? these sheep or something because they're supposed to be gay. They're trying to cure them of their gayness. Now that's just retarded. There's like that's, all these stupid, stupid studies that were... No, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about like real... I don't know about that, that, that part. I'm talking about medical stuff. You should see all the other studies they, that they do on makeup and shampoos. Now, 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 I will agree with any type of with any type of method that you use. There are going to be those that abuse it, and the abuse of that does need to be checked. I'm not saying you should just walk around killing animals for the sake of killing animals, but I will slaughter a thousand monkeys if it means sli- if it means saving one human life. But most of those little undercover videos. I think they come up because these people that work in these places aren't taking care of these animals that they're supposed to. Well, I get it. Like, like, like being cruel to animals for the sake of cruelty is just terrible. That's wrong. You shouldn't do it. But, but the people that are like, you shouldn't do it at all, they're sitting on that lap of luxury. They're sitting on the shoulders of giants who have earned their way up at the top of the food chain and don't realize what it what took to get What about the there. people kicking the chickens that you're eating just for fun? Like I said, cruelty for the sake of cruelty is just wrong. My, 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 my girlfriend like never has more than three words to say. <laughs> She's going in all in now. <laughs> it's just all no. coming out right no, now. No, no, no. For the sake of entertainment, I'm saying fuck the animals, of course. For no, the I sake get of it. entertainment. I get it. It's now, historical. cruelty, cruelty for the sake of cruelty is wrong. You should never do that. Right. Ever. Right. You know, but... But you know, if, if you got to kill them to make to help to help me live longer and those that I love, here, here's what bothers, who cares? Here's what bothers me, man. And there was this video that came out on Facebook where this guy, this kid in New York City, kicked this cat. Like the cat came up to him, he's like, "Here, kitty, kitty," and he kicked him, and the kit went flying. The cat went flying, like, like I don't know, 30, 40 yards. He, he, he like kicked it like yeah, a fucking football. There's right? no need for that. That's ridiculous. Now, now hold on. And so what happened was. There was all these comments that followed that were like, "This kid should be put to death." Now that's retarded. This kid should be killed. This kid be, sh- should be shot in the face. They should tie this kid up and kick him. And it's like, you guys are not seeing the problem here. The problem isn't the isn't that's not the solution. The solution is better psychology, be- better psychological examination. That's the fucking problem. I mean, and that can lead into a whole fucking other discussion. Psychology in America is really a big problem at large, but mental health. Mental health, thank you. Mental right. health. Right. Mental health is a big issue. Yeah, that's, that's, um, that dude is just a, a quack. That dude is just something's I, wrong with I, him. I don't know how I feel about experiments only because it's like I'm pulled. It's like that sucks. I couldn't do it, but I'm benefiting from it like you said. Yes, you are. So I'm on the fence. Every aspect of, of, of what you've gone through today, Jabbing, from, jab, from, from, yeah. you, from you waking up using your toothpaste to, to the, 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 the fibers in your shirt, yeah. to the food that you eat, yeah. to the products that you put in your hair, yeah. to, to the vitamins that you use, to the supplements, all of that is, is a result of animal testing. Yeah. Yeah. There are more aspects of, the, of your day-to-day life that you enjoy as a result of some animal dying than you realize. As long as they're, I, it sucks. I, wish, I just, I would hope that they were humane about the way they go about I, it. I, and, and I agree with that. Yeah. I mean, like cruelty for the sake of cruelty is just, is cruel. There's no reason to yeah. just be cruel. Yeah. Right. But, but you can't move forward. You can't make an omelet without breaking eggs. And those eggs happen to be animal lives. Yeah. 
Jabby Kawhi is not getting laid tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Sintel just earned a thousand new haters. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but I mean, yeah. you you're against people that just do it for the sake. No, no, just being animal cruelty for sake. So they should regulate these facilities more. Right. But I am, uh, but I am all the way, one hundred percent on board for animal testing, though. Just We're want gonna, to be clear on that. I am about, okay. but it, but they should be humane about it. They okay. should be humane. All right, let's move on. <laughs> my, that was your good thing. <laughs> What was my good thing? I know I said it's such like, a We're bad like an way. hour into this show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. We're gonna break this up into a two-parter. So you know what? You know what was messed up about it though? I did say a good thing is animal abuse, but I was trying to be funny, and yeah, and now I feel terrible about it. That's all right. It's man. not animal abuse. All right, just... man. You, it's already done. The deed is done. <laughs> okay. So this is gonna conclude <laughs> part one of episode six. <laughs> No, wait, this is episode five. This is going to conclude part one of episode five. And tune in tomorrow for the other half of episode five. We didn't do a bad thing, though. That's what part two is for. This line has been temporarily I am, disconnected. I, I am Javi Kue. Thank you for watching Javi Kue and his girlfriend, Fei Fei. See, look, he hates and, me so much he wouldn't even add me into the and, end. And Sintel. Bye. Yeah, humanity.